Now we're going to do the same problem we just did, but with a shortcut. We're going to use the tangency condition, but we're not going to plug in the values for px and by. We're going to find our general expression for the demand for x. So the tangency condition says the slope of the indifference curve will be equal to the slope of the budget constraint, or the negative of the marginal utility of x to marginal utility of y equals the negative of px over py. My original utility function is x times y, and taking the partial derivatives gives me my marginal utility of x and my marginal utility of y. Plugging into my tangency condition, I'll have y over x equals px over py. We're doing a little simplifying, y equals px over py times x. So this will be one of the equations that we use. The second one will be our general budget line. So having i instead of 72 and just leaving px and py instead of plugging in for prices. Now we've got two equations and two unknowns, so I can substitute in for y and solve for x. So it looks a little ugly at first, but what we'll notice is those py's cancel right out. So I've really got px times x plus px times x, or i equals 2 times px times x. Dividing, I get i divided by 2px is x, and this is my general expression for the demand for x. So when my income is $72 and x costs $9 per unit and y is a dollar, my demand for x is 4 units. I can plug back in and get that y is 36 units. So my initial bundle has 4 units of x and 36 units of y. My final bundle, x is $4 and income and price of y don't change. Plugging in those values, I get x is 9 and y is 36. So my final bundle has 9 units of x and 36 units of y. I'll have to do a little work to find my decomposition bundle. It's on my original difference curve and it's tangent to a budget line that has the slope of my new budget line. So I'll have to find the utility on my original indifference curve. Well, my preferences are u equals x times y, and my initial bundle has 4 units of x, 36 units of y, yielding utility of 144. So my decomposition bundle is still going to have the same preferences x times y, but I know that whatever that is is also going to have to equal 144. I've got my tangency condition. I can plug in my new budget line prices, which are $4 for x and $1 for y. And now I've got two equations and two unknowns. Substituting in, I can solve, and I get x has 6 units. y is 24 units. So my decomposition bundle is what we just found. Lining them up side by side, we see these are the exact same results we got before, but we reached this conclusion a little bit quicker, finding the general expression of x to start with.